on. We've learned the hard way on this expedition that of all the things that could keep you from getting across, the currents, the Gulf Stream, the distance itself, um, the dangerous sh predator sharks, um, the water temperatures, first too hot for you, then too cold by the end, the very same water. The only thing you could probably die from are the box jellyfish. They're new to this area. They're the most venomous animal. They're, they're ven that venom the most poisonous in all of the ocean. So we thought last year we had a good enough putting on some pantyhose over the head. Wasn't good enough, still stung on the lips. So the darn thing for us was to discover how to protect the mouth from getting stung and still breathe. And this is what we've done. I work with a prosthetist who's a genius named Stefan Knaus out in California. He helps all kinds of uh, wounded warriors who've lost limbs and parts of their faces. And he has developed this genius silicone mask for me. It's not easy to swim in. It's a little cumbersome. You've got to lift your head up higher to get a breath without getting a lot of salt water into it. It's, uh, it makes me slower. It makes me more tired. But that doesn't matter because we have decided that without full armor on, even with Angel Yanagahara here, our expert box jellyfish who has creams and salves and knows how to treat the skins, uh, the stings, we decided that there's no way getting through. And every night I'm going to wear this mask plus this entire suit I've got, the Lycra, not neoprene suit, for three straight nights. And I'm going to be slower and it's going to wear me down, but I'm going to be safe. So that's what we've done. I won't be able to talk when I put it on, which is a blessing to most of my crew. <laughs> and uh, he's developed in the mouth, as you can see, a couple of retainers so that I can actually grip and open the mouth myself. So first this goes, then a little Lycra hoodie over it, then a bathing cap, and then I swim like this. <laughs> <laughs>